If you have installed a Magisk module and it has caused your smartphone or tablet to go into a boot loop, in today's video I'm going to show you the ADB command that will disable all Magisk modules. And this can be executed while the device is currently boot looped as it will wait for the device to get to that point and then, ex and then execute the command that will remove all of your installed Magisk modules. Now Magisk is a powerful super user tool that also comes with ways to install various patches and other tools. But sometimes we can end up installing a Magisk module that is not compatible with our device. And since these modules are so powerful, sometimes this can cause our device to go into a boot loop. This causes a problem since we generally need to boot into Android and open up the Magisk application in order to uninstall and remove these modules. However, there's a way to do it from the command prompt and that enables us to execute this command while the device is in a boot loop. So in order for you to complete this tutorial, you're going to need to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on your PC. And you're going to need to have a USB cable that connects from your boot looping smartphone to your PC so that we can execute that command. So whether you are manually navigating from the command prompt to your ADB and Fastboot Tools folder, or you are using a shortcut like I am here, we just want to open up either a command prompt, a terminal, or a Windows PowerShell in the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot Tools. They need to be in the same folder. Now in previous guides, I've shown you how to execute a DB shell commands, but this time we're going to be using another little command, another argument within this. It's wait dash for dash device. So the entire command you want to type out is a DB space wait dash for dash device space shell space magisk space dash dash remove dash modules. Now normally when we type out and execute an ADB command it's going to execute it right then. However since we added this wait for device argument it's actually going to wait for us to connect our phone to the PC with that USB cable and that is what we want to do. So after we type this whole command out go ahead and press enter and now our computer is going to wait until our device reboots and as soon as it reboots and detects there's a place for it to execute that command it will follow through with that command. So I still have that command waiting for me on the PC. And since my phone is not technically boot looping, I'm going to simulate the boot loop by powering off the phone. And with that done, I will then connect the phone to the PC with that USB cable. Now I'm only doing this in this way because the phone is not boot looping. But if your phone is in the middle of a boot loop, after you execute that command, just go ahead and plug in the cable and it should pick up that command as soon as it can. So now the device is in a powered down state. I'm just going to press the power button to turn the device on. And since that command is there waiting, it's going to detect the exact point. The command can be executed. and it's executed right then. And this would be where your device automatically reboots.
Now our phone rebooted because that command was executed successfully. And you saw the multiple Magisk modules I had installed on this device before. I'm going to boot back up. We're going to open up Magisk and see that all of those modules are now uninstalled and have been removed. Now you can see we have zero Magisk modules installed. They have all been uninstalled and that allowed the phone to boot back up. So if your smartphone or tablet is currently in a boot loop and that boot loop is being caused by a Magisk module that you have installed, the ADB wait dash for dash device command is what you're going to want to use in order to uninstall and remove all of those Magisk modules to fix that boot loop issue.